Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Mech Merlin build stream. You may be thinking, Merlin, don't you do your build streams on Saturday? And I'm like, yeah, normally I do. And Thursdays are usually held for special occasions, extra builds that I don't really have time for. But this Saturday, there will not be a build stream because I will be down in Portland, Oregon, looking at another kitten, actually. So I will not be streaming. Figured I'd travel lightly this time, especially since I'm bringing the cat and a lot of other stuff, so don't want to stream, don't want to carry all that extra stuff. So we will do the build tonight. But before we start, let's let's get some tunes on the road. Here goes. There we go. And here, let me show you guys what I'm drinking tonight. Tonight, I'm doing another customer build, and this was a special customer, actually. And the special customer, he is the person behind, or he is actually one of the... He's not the one who started it, but he is probably the biggest contributor to QMK Configurator. This is my fellow QMK collaborator, Jan Folly. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I just call him Jan. So yeah. Hey, he's on, he's on. So thanks guys. And this is a Volcano 660, one of my favorite boards actually. And the PCB, like the original PCBs were made by another QMK collaborator. One of the QMK directors actually, Scully Days, proprietor of Clueboard. So what you guys are looking at right now is the Volcano 660. Um, started up by Ilum KB. I believe this is actually one of the first keyboards that he ever ran. And it turned out pretty successful, to be honest. Really liked how how it went. But yeah, there were polycarb options. Um, I believe there was an all brass option as well. But yeah, here we go. These are all just pictures. Pictures from when the group I went live. Um, I believe the pricing was around $400. Yo, yep. 375 or if you wanted the full brass kit 625 so yeah quite a expensive board um for something that what is sold in 2018 i believe so anyway um yan decided to gift me something as well look at that this is courtesy of the customer wildcraft cider works let's see let me actually update that on stream. I don't think I updated the Nightbot command quite yet. Let's see. Let's fix that. I think I st I'm still using the old cider, but let's do this one. This is Wildcraft Cider Works Rome Beauty. So I have no idea what this will taste like, but hopefully good. I've, ne I've never actually seen it in any of our grocery stores. Aged heirloom dry cider. So hopefully this is good. Hopefully this is good. I'll be drinking this as I build his board. <laughs> there we go. Go. Let's see. How how is it? Oh, interesting. Okay, that is a definitely a very dry cider. Not not so sweet. It tastes more like I can still taste the the apple on it, but it's devoid of a lot of the regular sugars that are in a nice cider. But yeah, that's interesting. Let's see how much alcohol is this. 6.8%. Okay, that's uh, that's on the higher end too. All right. Is cider a big thing in the Seattle area? There's lots of cider stuff here. So I think so. I think so. I think Seattle's more more known for their beers. I'm not mistaken. All right here. Let me show you guys the keyboard. I actually have one of these myself. So after I build Yans, I'm going to bring mine out so I can compare the two. So his build, his particular build, let me take out this board. His particular build, he's made it easy for me. He already put in all of the stabilizers. 
So this particular build will have foam in it as well. We'll have plate foam, as you guys can see. Mine did not have plate foam because it was way, 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 way back in the day before plate foam was even a thing. These are the gaskets that go in it. And there it is. Black top, red bottom. As a result, oh, he'll be putting on alpacas, filmed alpacas, and topping it off with GMK Metaverse. Check it out, check it out. So yeah, red on black theme going on. See, there's this metal piece here. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see how this looks. Ooh, so pretty. Yeah, I just got the regular gray one. Check it out. Very beautiful. Red bottom. Oh, man. Volcano. Volcano logo, all that. Very beautiful. How, ev how heavy is that? Um, let's see. I'd say it's about five pounds. Let me see if they have specifications here. Um, pretty sure it's about five pounds because it's it's just right on that border of um being uncomfortable to move around on your desk. There we go. Um. 2.1 kilograms. What is that? Yeah, yeah, that, that's about five pounds. That's about five pounds. <laughs> All right. All right, let's take this apart because I do need to access the plate in order to build this. But man, this actually turned out really nice. This turned out to be a really good looking board. Danny Art says, hello, hello, hello to you too. Let me just put like a mat here so I don't scratch the brass weight at all. Oh, look. Oh, Yan, um, your volcano actually has indentations for the feet. Mine did not because he, I think, Ilum KB screwed up on that first batch. <laughs> Daniard says, I was able to fix my gingham yesterday. It was just touching the back plate. It was just shorting out. Ah, okay, yeah. That would do it. Yeah, I need to access... Need to access that brass plate, and then we'll get going. The shipping must have cost a lot. Probably. I, I can't r remember, to be honest. It's been a long time. Yeah, I think um, Ilum KB ships out of Singapore, so yeah. Been international shipping for five pounds. Really glad that the board turned out really nice though, because I know Yan had some issues. I think his his top case or his bottom case had some dents in it when he received it, so he had to wait for Ilum KB to replace his board. Black and red is such a combo, so it's dark. Yeah, I know, right? That's why he's going to be putting GMK Metaverse on it. Uh, 
and then go all the way out. I'm actually going to have to grab some gloves with this. I put minimal fingerprints on the brass plate. There we go. There we go. Imagine Crimson Cadet on this board. Yeah. That would work out too. Do this. Metaverse should be nice. So I believe this is an E black coating, if I'm not mistaken. E black, the looks of it. Ah, there's the plate. Okay. I am gonna grab a pair of gloves really quick just to make sure. Oh. <laughs> Store these screws somewhere. Right. That's one shiny plate I know, right? Very pretty. All right. I am going to go and... Oh, Yan, I just realized there's one thing that you forgot to send me. Um, three LEDs for the indicators. But yeah, let me just grab a pair of gloves. My cat wants to play with me. She just took her toy and put it in front of my door, just staring at me longingly. <laughs> I'll play with you later, okay? Okay? <laughs> there we go. These are magic gloves. They add plus one to your soldering skill. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I might only need one of them. There we go. Very pretty. Oh, you put the gaskets in already. Okay. Oh, did you put the gaskets in on top? Yes, you did as well. Okay. We won't need the extra gaskets anymore. <laughs> Perfect. This is going to be a relatively quick build then. Relatively. Do I have any? Um, I might. I might. But let me just look really quick. I do not, do not have any LEDs. Yep, nothing in here, nothing in here.
What abilities up? Paco is getting tangerines or lavenders for Daki smooth linear. Never tried linears before. Um, all of those, except for the tangerines, will give you some degree of dock. All right. Since there are no LEDs, um, I guess we'll do it without. It should be easy to do, just because nothing's blocking them. So you can install them after the build. Let's see, let me grab that PCB. There we go. Personal board, no, this is Yan's board. So I'm actually very curious to see how how your board turns out. Um, simply because you've got this foam in there. And it doesn't seem like your foam has holes in it. So we should probably make holes for that, huh? Let's make some holes for that. I will have to cut it out. Okay. But yeah. You guys, check this out. This is the Volcano PCB. Got a volcano on it. Pretty cool. Yeah, if I put the foam in and you want to put it in after the fact, I don't want you to have to drill holes in that so i'm just gonna put holes in it right now might not look pretty but you know we'll we'll try our best here best pcb i haven't in a while ah okay well we will go holes here first Perfect. That. Okay. A little bit more, then I'll be happy. There we go. Okay. Okay. I think that's good enough. Holes are big. Should be able to solder and not worry about it. A leather punch would make this a whole lot easier, but honestly, where would I get a leather punch? Like, I'm not in that line of business. It's not like I just have one lying around, right? Or use a solder? No, that's not a good idea. I don't wanna gum up my soldering iron. There we go. Okay, we're good. We are good. Uh, we should test the PCB first. Test the PCB first.
because Yan is the main developer behind QMK Configurator, we will use QMK Configurator to do all the testing. There we go. So let's do test keyboard. We'll plug it in. One of these stabs is not like the other. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys guess which one? Which of these stabs is not like the other? Is it the enter? Is it the left? Left shift, right shift, or is it the space bar? Which one? Darkwell says space bar. Yep, you guys are correct. It is indeed the space bar. <laughs> Purple V1 Durox. All right. I, I heard it beep, so that should be good. What are the other stabs C3? Yes, the other stabs are, are C3. So good. Playing function key right there. There we go. Okay. Looks like everything is good. Why are some of them red? That is chatter detection. So chatter is basically when you type a key, right? And it mispresses and it fires like three times. So you press a T and it goes three T's, right? That is what chatter is. And usually chatter is a symptom of a bad switch. So what you're seeing right here, all the red keys have chatter. And that is because me holding a tweezer is not as precise as a mechanical switch. All right. Looks like everything works. PCB works as intended. Excellent. Here, let me just... Dan, you didn't loop your stabilizers. Here, okay. I'm gonna have to lube these for you. I will not tolerate these. <laughs> there. I will lube your stabilizers. There's no lube at all. Oh, whoa. I just noticed that your um, stab screws are also hex. Interesting, I've never actually seen that for, for stabilizers. I can't do this with gloves on. <laughs> Might have forgot or they dried out. Okay. Let me take care of this. Yeah, these are palm anyway, so they're going to be fine in terms of smoothness. But I want to at least put on... I'm going to at least put on the dielectric grease for the, for the stab wire. D3 uses hex. Oh, do they? Okay. Let's 
see it looks like. Okay, yeah. N none of these. John says, so does chatter happen to VS Key Tester as well? No, it does not, because VS Key Tester does not check for key chatter. It only checks for that the key is, has been pressed or not. Padrino says, I love your keyboards. Thank you. So for the, you probably haven't seen many of them because the last couple builds have really been just for customers. <laughs> so you like my customers keyboards. Not necessarily mine. Data detection is a useful feature because it tests your actual switch. Plutonium says, hey Merlin, how's it going? It's going pretty well. We just started a build here. And we'll be lubing stabilizers. What's your favorite or most coveted personal board? I don't actually have one. Everyone's always like wanting to know what the best board is, what my favorite is. But the, the truth of the matter is I, I don't have one, but rather I like having a variety of stuff, you know? So even if for some reason I was given the best keyboard in existence, right? In existence, it has every conceivable feature. It is perfect in every way. I would be bored of it within a week, right? Justa G says, how do I get in contact for a build? You may contact me on Discord. You can actually do, you can read through my build services thread right here. And you can also contact me on Discord. Oh, did my build services one not kick off? Here, there we go, build service. Okay, let's lube this really quick first. My KD67 light is pretty nice. I was really impressed with it for the price. Yeah, I'd say it's probably the best 65 that um, KBD fans currently sells. Client build or personal? This is a client build. Right. That's about right. Yeah, if you just Google Mech Merlin build services, it should it should pop up as well. It's build service, not build services. Singular. Yeah, and um, I'm going to have to ask this. I have a spare um, Duroc V2 wire. Are you sure you want to stick with V1s? Because I can, I'll just replace yours off the bat because these feel really loose to me. Like, are you very... Are you very attached to the color purple? Is 
That's oh no no I meant just just the housing, actually. Not attach the tabs. Okay, I'm going to replace it. Just cause. Just because I worry. I worry big time. Because the V1s just aren't... Like, the V1s do not hold that wire as well as the V2. So all I'm really going to do is change out the housing. How about that? Just to keep the color scheme, I'll probably stick with the same... Um, I'll stick with the same stem, just so it's still purple and nice. But other than that, I will give you a new housing. Because I worry. Appreciate the attention to detail. Yeah, like, I'm not worried about any any of your C3s. But the V1 Duroc just... Yeah. No, it's not going to be fun if it pops. I'm also being being very careful to details because I I work with Yan when it comes to QMK. So yeah, <laughs> he is a fellow QMK collaborator. We have both put in many hours into QMK together. In fact, if you guys use QMK configurator, um, he is the main reason why it's been so successful. I just want him to, to have a good board here. What's my impression of either stabs? Of other stabs, um, Duroc V2s are really the best for me. Uh, mainly because they've got that metal insert right there and, and they're see-through. So aesthetically and functionally, they are superior for me. A lot of people say that the C3 stabs are just as good, mainly because they like the multitude of colors that they're available in. To me, I don't really care about those colors. I would rather have a C2 stab so I can see how well I'm lubing and all that. So yeah, that's, that's the deal. The deal right there but we will reuse the stems so we will have some nice fancy colored ones Which stabs require or need heat shrink? So, um, what you're referring to is a method to prevent rattle and all that. So, kind of hard to tell just because any stab could need it. This depends on your own tolerance. It depends on your on your goals, you know. It's like asking. What part of a cow needs an oven to cook? You know? Kind of like that. It just really depends on how you want to do it. There we go. See? Hybrid V1, V2. So you still retain those purple stems. 
right there. Looks quite a bit nicer, actually. Oh, I'm no longer using that, that board presentation. I just swapped out the boards at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> All right. All right, we're good. We're good. We can put this on the PCB now. Put this on the PCB. Any cider recommendations? Um, if you execute the drink command, you should see my my current cider that I'm drinking right now. So far, so good. This was a gift from Yan, actually. I quite enjoy it. It's more on the drier side, which which I prefer. I started my cider journey just like wanting all the sweet stuff, so I'd, so I'd get like the sweetest flavors. But over time, I'm like, I can't really tolerate it. It's just sweet upon sweet upon sweet. It's a gold medal winner. Really? I don't even know where to look that stuff up, but thank you. The really sick PCB. Yeah, it is a Volcano 660 PCB designed by Scully Dazed of Clueboard. Twitch Snake, subscribe with Prime. Thank you. Thank you for your support. No wait, this is for the enter, because you want you want split backspace. Now here's the part where I where I regret that I didn't you know mark it. So hopefully I can figure this out. The Definitely not in that first position. How about the second position? Nope. Third position? Nope. Fourth position. Fourth position, yeah. Fourth position works. Use the foam. Ah, okay. Good point. And looks like I put it in the right location. Excellent. Excellent. But for the 6U. Good point. When you have a, a, a specific foam, it just makes the job easier. Who did you have cut the foam? Was this MK Ultra? Because it doesn't look like MK Ultra. Oh, okay. MK Ultra. It's a proto. Oh, really? Okay, that's probably why. All right, we are back. We're back in business. Perfect. Okay, now I can put the gloves back on and actually start putting switches together. There we go. Okay, let's put the gloves back on. The reason why I'm doing this is because he has a super shiny brass plate. And, you know, don't want to put my fingerprints on it. Though each Mech Merlin fingerprint adds an additional $300 to the cost of your keyboard. Just FYI. <laughs> mm. 
The doctor is in, I know, right? The, I am the doctor wizard. Today, I am the doctor wizard. And we are doing alpacas today. Touched by a Merlin. <laughs> Touched by a wizard. There we go. Oh, that actually went in really easily. Okay. The Midas Touch. I think the the biggest struggle that I'll have with this build is the what do you call that? It's going to be the the foam compressing to make sure that the foam compresses properly while I solder. Man, that guy keeps popping out. Let's put him somewhere else. Let's put him there. What? Oh, that's a tight plate. Let me put him somewhere else then. Not. Maybe it's the switch. Let's try. Let's try a different switch. There we go. Yep, it was the switch. All right. There it is. Let's see. How hard do I have to press to compress it? Not very hard, actually. That's not bad at all. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. We can absolutely do it. All right. Looks so pretty, I know, right? Okay. Let's get soldering. Just gonna solder the first row of switches here. Yeah, that does look really pretty. Multicolors. All you're missing is Handerbite. And once you have that, this board will be... Will truly be a board of many colors. It'll be a... Eruption of colors. The answer is no. <laughs> no hander bite. You know what? I think I will not use that. I'll use this. Let's see. Earth Sojourner got it. Nice. And I change my tip soon here. This will do, just have to tin it properly. Triggered by underweight. Okay, we got these done. Thank you. 
Is Hot Stop the inevitable future? Not will there or will there always be solder boards? There'll always be solder boards because of the um higher end keyboards. Ah, uh, that guy. That guy needs a little bit more love. There we go. Looks much better. Put in another, another set here. Yeah, I can feel that foam fighting back on me. That foam is fighting back. Merlin clear than foam. Sometimes foam can kick my butt. I think what what makes it easier though is that the plate, because it's so stiff, it helps compress it better. In a way it does help. Ever so slightly. Mustard Overlord says, I'm really interested in your next group by news because just looking at my group buys, there are some super weird keyboards I've never seen ICs for. Um, if you already know what's happening, then my group by news will just be a repeat of what you already know. Yeah, one unique thing about the very first edition of Volcano 660 PCBs is because it's clueboard, it actually implements all the designs that are present on clueboard. Meaning you've got a speaker right there. You've got a speaker, you have an ARM microcontroller, and you've got quick connectors for, uh, for other devices. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys heard, but when I first plugged in this board, it gave a little beep like a little r2d2 beep that's what this board can do once once it's all done yeah the brass is super thick i think this is a four millimeter thick one what is the speaker for um you know you can make it beep make your board beep if you if you like having that um, audible feedback for like clicky switches, but but it's it's like gonna bother all of your coworkers. Um, having it as a speaker will allow you to turn it on and off whenever you want.
Basically like one of those benches seen at the board. Exactly. Exactly. You've got it. Except implemented in a modern keyboard. That's the difference. Charlie pioneered ARM CPUs in QMK, yeah. This is PCB support via yet. Yep. My my very own Volcano 660 uses via. Which I'll pull out actually once I finish with this build. Just so I can, you know, compare and contrast. Except I've got Gateron Black Inks V1 in mine. I kind of want to see how it sounds compared to this, this alpaca filmed and, and foamed board. See, let me do another column here. really hard soldering with these gloves on because the solder wire feels so so slippery for me on soldering must be difficult it is it is really curious how how um what's his name that german guy wodan wodan wonder how he does it he's always wearing gloves So why what is what his reasoning for it was he said it's mainly just to protect his hands it's not so much like protect the board from like fingerprints it's mainly just to protect his own hand in case he burns them or something i didn't ask why he wants to protect his hands so much he might be like a hand model
Maybe he has a weird hands and wants to hide them. I've seen his hands before. They're not weird. Maybe he wants to keep them that way. Not weird. <laughs> Oof, okay, this... We just solder it from here then. Just a lot of recycled work. Ah, that's right. Hand model sounds like a nice job. Well, if you've ever watched um Zoolander, you know, hand models. That's where I learned about them actually. For being a hand model, you may need to have nice hands. Well, yeah, for sure. You guys ever watch Zoolander? Um, the character who was a hand model kept his hand in like a glass case. It was like all over his arm. Like Ben's just bet. Ben Stiller's char character was like, Oh, I recognized that hand. That was in the 1973 Watch Watch magazine or something. <laughs> All right. See, we have most of the columns down. Let's do the one that goes down the middle. Do that. another strange switch that won't go in hopefully you sent me enough switches the soldering the columns then the rows help with switch alignment it does it also makes sure that I'm able to keep the pressure even and consistent throughout this whole build process um, as I said in the beginning, the most difficult part of this build is making sure that that foam stays compressed. So if I do it like this, I can distribute all that pressure and make sure that the switch is flush with the plate and with the PCB. Seventy, so you should have a few spares. Nice. Solder that row now. This way, you know, you also do this a lot faster. 
because you're letting the board do the work for you. you you're not having to press and hold it in place for a very long periods of time. What's your favorite linear? I do not have a favorite linear. Um, I tend to go for a bunch of JWK switches, Gateron Black Inks. Um, stuff that I used recently has been Palm Glacier Pandas, uh, Gateron KS3s, and JWK Lavenders. Those are the ones that I've used most recently in the build and have been quite pleased with. The Brandon says, I have a razor, roast me. Why? You like your razor? You like your razor? Nothing wrong with that. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now we got to figure out this the switch. This switch has to go in the center. What is it down there? You know what? You can only you can best do this if I have a space bar. That's the best way to know. Don't guess. Just use the space bar. Or you will regret it. You will regret it. Alright, yeah, and I'm gonna break your seal. I'm gonna break the seal on your GMK Metaverse, but hold on. Before we do that, I wonder if the 6U is included in here or the main kit. Just so I know what to look for. The GMK Metaverse. R2, I believe. Let's see, space. Okay, let's do this. Screen view. So the base kit, that's a 6.25U, and that looks to be a 7U, so no, the 6U is not part of the base. The space bars is where it's at, I think. Um... That's seven, six point two five, six. Okay. Okay. Definitely in here. So we'll open this one first. Which one it is? I think. I think it's. It's. It's hard to see, but I think it's this one. I think it's that one. 
Here, let me just poke a hole through it. Grab your space bar really quick here. Yeah, that looks like a 6 you see though. That's a 6.25. Yep, that is a 6. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, this is a 6 you. 6 you indeed. So with that said... Aha. Got it. I'm gonna put the switch in first. Let's hope it's not warped. A little bit on the sides. A little bit. It's not perfect. So what board am I using? I'm using the KB67 Lite round 2. I know my um, command is not up to date anymore. By the way guys, um, in case you don't know, here in America, it's April Fool's Day. Okay, that is not the position for it. That is not the correct position. It needs to be shifted to the left a little bit more. There we go. That should do it. Let's just check. Wait a second, what? What in the world? That's not the right spot either. Oh, okay, let's try it. Let's try this. Um, 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 um. No way. So this is, this is what I'm going to do. Try flipping the switch. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, that could possibly do it. There we go. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. That, that definitely did it. Yep, that fits. That fits, that fits. But it's actually a very smart way to just to add multiple support. So there we go, with that said, we can now solder it in. Just 
The spacebar switch is indeed north facing. Good thing space bars aren't row 3, right? Alright, and with that, we're done. With that, we are done. Awesome. Okay. And just to make sure, just to make sure I, I got everything correct. We're going to bring up QMK Configurator again and do a quick test right here. Reset. Okay, so this time, this time around, we should not see any kind of chattering. And if we do, uh, might have to fix that switch. Here we go. Might need some reprogramming for split backspace. Not mistaken. There we go. Yep. Function keys work as well. Perfect. We're good. We are good. Um. Yeah, and what do you want me to do in terms of programming? I'd rather program this before I put it in. So beautiful, all green. How would you like me to program this? Do you have a community key map that, that like I can just flash on? Do you have a community key map for a 66? I can deal with it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if that's the case, I'll just... I'll save time and not do anything. <laughs> but I will pour the rest of my cider. We'll do that. We will do that. And with that said, I think we are done. We can actually put this all in the case now. We got three switches to spare. We have three switches to spare. Do this. Just take off. Clean this up a bit. Enjoying the cider? Yes, I actually quite enjoy the cider. Switch giveaway. <laughs> there we go. So, um, since Yan already put all of the gaskets in, it's really just placing the board in like so. You do unforgivable things for a volcano. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> Just gotta gotta align that USB C port properly. There we go. Makes your voice 65 looks like a dumpster. Okay, there is 
something weird with this. Yeah. See what's going on. Hmm. What is going on? The plate isn't sitting in place properly. There we go. So it fits in like that. USB port aligns. Oh man, uh... I think I just need to put the put the top on and we should be good. There's an e-black top with the red bottom. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. No, Yan, I wish you would have gone for red foam. Because the blue foam underneath it kind of looks tacky. <laughs> Almost looks like someone left my gloves in there. There we go, all right. didn't think that far ahead. It's fine. This was a board long in the running. I'm gonna do this on my lap really quick so I can get the two screws in and hold it in place. Voice 65 looks like a dumpster. <laughs> it's like a three year build, I know, right? So one of my issues with the Volcano was that the USB-C port, um, you need to have very specific USB-C ports in order for it to work. Like, it needs to be this thick. If you use something like the Apple ones, like the ones for your MacBook, they won't fit properly. Or I think they're a little too wide and not as deep. But if you go with any of the custom ones that the community has to offer, those seem to work just fine. I know it's like a weird thing, but one of my biggest critiques of the Volcano 660. So once we have everything like nice and tight here, we're going to do a, a e-test again, just to make sure that the USB-C port worked. But we'll see. Just the magnetic... Oh, you do not want to use the magnetic tip. That's... Because it's so tight in there that when you when you take apart your board, you are going to have a very difficult time removing the the magnetic port. So I would highly, highly discourage you from attempting to use it. But with that said, here's your here is your volcano 660. Let's put some keycaps on, shall we? I 
Okay. Let's grab the... Let's go grab the... The, the rest of the base kit. Let, let me just verify that the base kit itself has every key that I need. And yes, it looks like it does. Okay, let's do this. GMK Metaverse 2. Novelty is in box too. Yeah, I saw them. Ah, it's sticking to me. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Here we go. More plastic. More plastic. All right, let me put this all on. All right, let's see. Okay, at this point, I can take off my gloves. Oh, they are sweaty. Oh my gosh. All right, Ian, I'm gonna shine your keycaps because of my sweaty hands. <laughs> Okay, question. Do you like Tilda or do you like Escape? For your top left. Ah, nothing beats the feel of a fresh GMK set. Feels so nice. Sounds so nice. Oh, Penguin, this is GMK Metaverse Round 2. Novelty. Use Tilda next to the Dell. Okay. Forget. Do you... Tilda is right there and then delete. Okay. Like this. So. Oh, this side is going to look so nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and to be honest, so I can already tell my Volcano 660 still sounds better. <laughs> I think your foam um, de definitely got rid of those pinging that I was hearing earlier but it doesn't give that deep sound that I personally like. I guess like also what, what your enter key is and all that. Dealer choice, okay. Um, I like having the enter key red. So we're gonna go for black arrows. Personally, I feel like when, when the arrow keys are so close to the enter and they're both red, it doesn't look good. I'm going to go with black. However, if you wanted to do red arrows, then we would need a black enter. That's just the way I view things. Okay. And see, how else do we want to do this? 
Um, you use that as your delete key, right? So the delete and then backspace. So, uh, there we go. We'll go with this. That. Right, like that. Then shift key, where's the shift key? There it is. Shift key's right there. Is there a 1UBS? Um, let me look. Wait, that's not the shift key I need. I need, wait, this, this is a clue board, so you, two 2.25s, yeah. Oh really, you use, okay, interesting. Take that out. Just give you a regular pipe. Pipe. Pipe, and then one U backspace. Am I seeing a one U backspace there? Um, I'm actually not seeing a one U backspace. Yes, there's actually a one new backspace. It's this different color. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I see it. I see it. Go. That. Oh wait, hold on. This is the mm. <laughs> okay. So with the six you lay out all the keys are one point two five. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Penguin, thank you. Thank you for your tip. There's novelties for the bottom row. Alright, let's do novelties. You want masks? Okay, we'll do masks because this is a Persona 5 set. Let's do all of them. See, I. See, who do I want to use? Okay, since I am a cat household, we will put the cat on. What's his name? Morgana? Let's do Morgana. Oh, wait. Yep, there it is. No, wait, that's a shift key. That's a shift key. Okay, we are going to use Morgana for the shift key. Wait, what is that? That's not... That is not a 2.25U. That is not a 2.25U. Let's just do... Use Joker. Do Red Joker. Even though Joker is black. There we go. There we go, there we go. There we go, and we will do
Yeah, let's just do it like this. Let's do that. All these keys, all these keys are 1.5. I want 1.25s. Mm. Okay. Here, let's do it like this. Yeah, there are not enough 1.25s. There are not enough 1.25s. Shoots. The very least, I will give you an FN key. How about that? There we go. Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> Check it out. That looks beautiful. That looks very beautiful. And I just realized my escape key is not correct. So let me fix that up. The wrong profile. Let's put in... Static says, yeah, it's a 66. Yeah, this is in fact my favorite 66 at the moment. Volcano 660. Check it out. Look at that. Oh, this is really heavy. Man. This client knows what's up. This client is the proprietor of QMK Configurator. <laughs> All right, let's do a typing test. Let us do a typing test. Hot, I know, right? Oh my gosh, I just realized this is the benefit of having the bottom case a different color. Because look at that. That port, it's... It looks so nice. It's like, it's like a highlight for the USB-C port. Joshua says this client is also a troll. <laughs> Here, let's go plug it in. There we go. It beeped, so that's a good sign. Here, let me test it. It works. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I like. That is indeed what I like. Alright, let's find something here. Let's do a typings test. Oh, that's somewhere to type on. Oh my gosh. I am not used to that at all. Here we go. Uh, we're currently on Honeywell, but I think there's a metaverse here, right? Is there a metaverse? Mm. No, there is not. So let's just let's just stay with Honeywell. Let's just stay with the Honeywell. Okay, so here goes. Wait, that didn't work. Okay. Here goes. Hundred thirty one accuracy of eighty three percent. Hundred 
Let's try again. Ah, never mind. There we go. It feels good. It feels really good. Gasket mount with brass plate here. Let me pull out my volcano just to compare, compare and contrast. Found it. The fields is the most important part for the board. Yeah. So while Yan has a GMK metaverse theme, I have a solarized dark theme. Same board, same board, different key set, different switches. Mine has Gateron Black Inks, Yan has the Alpacas. So here, just a quick typing test of mine. Which is smoother. Um, they feel about the same to be honest. Can't really. Yeah, my mine is def definitely definitely smoother. Big Daddy, your ears might be deceiving you because they def definitely feel a lot smoother. Yeah, what, when I'm typing normally, it's like hard to tell. But when I'm like single switching it, I can, I can feel that difference. The Gat Black inks are lubed in film. They are just lubed. Yeah, I wish um, if Ilum KB ever releases the plate files for this, I'd really love it to to like have like a carbon fiber plate, because I think the brass plate, as pretty as it looks, I feel like it makes it sound a little more tinnier than it needs to be. I'd probably go for a carbon fiber or a polycarb plate next. You know, this board has been around for three years. Maybe Ilum KB will be able to release plate files. I'll go ask. I'll go ask and see if he's willing to do that. We'll see. We shall see what he says. Yeah, what, um, alpacas are 62, right? Yeah, these are 62, and these are 70. Anyway guys, thanks for joining in. Um, let's see, this was a longer stream than usual because I was trying out different things and board didn't work out as intended because I found out that Yan did not lube his stabilizers so I had to take care of that really quick. Anyway, thanks guys for joining in and I will see you not this Saturday, but this Sunday for the group by new stream. So thanks again for joining in and I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.